is a video response to Leonard SB's video, Atheism Sucks. According to you, Leonard, well, I'm going to say Len, <clears throat> Atheism sucks apparently because you have to either choose God or you don't choose God, you go to heaven if you choose God, and if you don't, you go to hell. Can you prove any of this is true? Can you prove that uh, God exists, for example? Can you prove that your version of the Bible's God exists? Can you prove that Jesus died on the cross? No, you cannot. You cannot prove a heaven exists, you cannot prove a hell exists, you cannot prove any of these. These are all just assertions. These are all just assertions you're assuming. That's it. That's all you're doing, is just making assertions. Can you give me any examples of how this is true? Can you give me a real scientific evidence of a soul, or of a heaven, or even a God? I know you can't. There's a good chance you're not even going to watch this video, but I'm going to make it anyway, just in case you do watch it. And for anybody else who's watching this as well. Atheism is the lack of belief in any god or gods, either due to the lack of evidence presented from the theistic side or from those who do not understand the concept of god, except for our babies or cars or anything that doesn't understand the concept of god. Babies, for example, which are atheists. An atheist is also somebody who, well, as I said, don't believe in a god. Agnostics, are technically, uh, to most people like me, are considered atheists. I do not believe in God because there's no evidence. I do not reject God. I just don't believe in him. If you can give me evidence, Len, I might believe. I won't worship him, but I'll believe. You say that communism is atheism, and atheism is basically communism. And if there's no heaven and there's no hell, then we can just do whatever we want. You can go murder and rape people, basically, is what you're saying. Well, you just said the basic example of communism and killing people. Well, no, that's not what it is at all. Most secular countries, with most atheists and everything, are more, well, better than religious countries, including America. America sucks compared to most secular countries. In prison rates, in teen pregnancies, and divorces, etc. I wonder why that is. Hmm? Um, you may claim that communists have killed many people in name of atheism, uh, from, under, from me, my understanding of the video anyway. Not true. Uh, if you're referring to Mao and Pol Pot, they were Taoist. They were not atheists, they were Taoist. And the religion of Taoism. They killed just for the fuck of it, because they wanted to kill because they had to kill for political power and everything. Same with uh, Stalin, who was a communist. I'm not exactly sure if he was an atheist or not, but uh, communism is basically a worship of government. Uh, uh, from my understanding of it anyway. So, technically, communism would be his version of religion. Not his god or anything, but his version of religion. He, they killed because they wanted to kill. The most people who have been killed in the name of anything would be in the name of the Christian, Islamic, and Judaistic God, Yahweh, or Elohim, or Jehovah, or Adonai, or uh, any other name, Yeshua. It doesn't matter. Do not claim uh, that... Uh, atheism has caused more deaths because it's not. You claim that the Nazis have not killed as many people as communism. Not true. Hitler, who was a devout Catholic, and many of his, um, uh, I, I don't know, uh, Aryan, I, I can't, uh, Nazi soldiers, that's what, that's what I'm just going to say, Nazi soldiers killed in the name of Nazism, that was my Skype, sorry, killed in the name of, uh, because they were Nazis and they killed because of, well, they were told to by Hitler and his leaders. Uh, for the Christian religion, basically. He did it, Hitler did it for the name of God, and he did it for the name of, well, Christianity, because he killed the Jews because the Jews killed Jesus. He killed uh, gays because it's an abomination to God. He killed atheists because they did not believe in God, and it's an abomination to believe in God, and as, of course, as God said, they're supposed to kill all non-believers, all believers of a different religion, etc., etc. The most people have been killed in the name of anything, as I said before, is God. The Christian, Islamic, and Judaistic God, Yahweh. We have the proof of this. Unlike you having proof of all this crap you claim. Now I'd like to ask you if you can, uh, Len, if you can give me some proof that uh, your God exists. Can you, can you give me any proof? And you cannot use the Bible as proof of God or the Bible. Because... That's just like proving that Superman is true because uh, DC Comics says it's true. It can't be done. The Quran is true because the Quran says it's true. Or the Bible says it's true because the Quran, the Bible says it's true. It's it's illogical. Prove it to me. Your God exists. 
that's it. You claim, uh, I don't, I don't, again, I don't know if you actually believe this or not, but God is all loving according to the Bible, yet he has murdered the most uh, head count, and he had the most head count anyway in the Bible, about, I'm not exactly sure if it's 2 million or 24 million. I'm still stuck on the numbers there, because because again, to continue out at the Bible, then there's the whole fact that plus all the people who die every day, millions of people who die every day, and because that can that would be God doing it, uh, until you can prove your God's existence, I'm not going to believe in him. And even if you did prove his, prove his, I'm sorry, prove his existence, I'm still not going to worship him, because there's no evidence. So prove your God exists, that's it. If you can prove it exists, great. Until then, stop making obsessions, stop saying that people are going to burn forever because your loving God says that if you don't worship him, you're going to burn. That's not love. Not at all. On a side note, a preacher and a skeptic are in a debate. The skeptic says, so you must be anti-gay then, right? The preacher says, anti-gay? Why would it be anti-gay? God specifically says that gay sex is preferable in the Bible. The skeptic says, what? Where in the world does God say that in the Bible anywhere? He says the exact opposite. The preacher then says, do unto others as you would have done unto them. 